This is my reaction to Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 13, JD. In the last episode, Grace was having this dream about her and her daughter, Athena, and kind of like the future of the world and how Athena was supposed to bring hope to the new world and like make it a better place. And then eventually in the real world, she ended up giving birth and it, her baby died or was already dead by the time she was given birth, which was really sad. And yeah, also Morgan gave um, the guy the key, which I'm assuming is something not good. So yeah, let's go. Are those eggs? Oh! Hold up at the old church. Won't see anybody, myself included. I can't stop thinking about how the baby might be alive if we didn't have to come to you. Morgan, even if I had been here, it wouldn't have made a difference. Don't you say it. Don't, because she's already gone there talking about how the only reason she's alive is because her baby absorbed all the bad shit from her body. I just want to make sure she's okay. Not letting you come in. She has to see me. She does or you do. What's that supposed to mean? Grace lost the baby because you couldn't do the one thing that John wanted. That's why I couldn't let you stay here, and that is why you were not here when she needed you. So tell me again how you're here right now for Grace. And that you're not here right now for yourself. Wow. Oh. Yep. Has she not read it? How much is? Oh, hey, easy. Oh. He told me Ginny was just working things for her own ends. He asked me to leave with him before we even got here. Hey, whoa, don't do this to yourself. Well, I can't help but think. If I just listen to him. Maybe he'd still be here. The people you saved here. Yeah, what? Ginny! I mean, you can't make much of a difference. Dwell on, like, what could have been. Oh, easy. A oh. company. Sherry? Did you bring more company? Oh, hell! Must be one of them! I'm gonna take him out! We might have information! We need him alive! <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it'd be unlocked. Oh. Who? The folks painting the slogans. Answer me. So he's not. Seems like you're the one with the answers. If you're wasting my time, it won't be windows and mirrors I put a bullet into. You catch my drift? Yep. Not leaving my friends behind. Drive. <laughs> so with all due respect, sweetheart, shut up and drive. <laughs> Yeah. Where'd you get that gun? Why should I tell you? Because it belongs to me. The JD on the handle, that's me. I'm John Dory. Oh. <laughs> the only reason I'm standing right here is because of John and June. They changed everything. Mm. Changed how? I don't know. Should have known you were a Dory with all that sharpshooting back there. Well, if he was a good shot, it had nothing to do with me. 
Don't you have any questions? About what? Where he is? What he's been up to for the past 40 years? I already know the answer. I mean, Why else yeah. Why would you be here with that look on your face? That gun on your hip? I lost my jacket. We need to go back. You can have one of mine. No, we need to go back. I ain't wasting gas to go get some jacket covered in muck and guts. That's not the jacket that I need. There's a letter in the pocket. A letter? What's in this letter that's so important? I don't know. I haven't read it. Well, then it must not be that important. No, You're she's... You're welcome to go get it, but this RV's only going one direction. That's forward. She's waiting for you. Uh... Shit. We got a stowaway. Oh. I was like, who? Oh, 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 his heart's giving out. We're gonna have to. Let's go. Fuck you, Sherry. You know what? I mean, I never liked you. Now I really don't like you. You know what? That. That. Hmm. That's just rude. I need to take out the person that's really to blame for all of this. Oh. Megan? I'm gonna find him. And I'm gonna put a bullet in his head. Um, yeah, I don't that's think that's going to happen. That's why I came happen. with you, D. So I could find the right way to say goodbye. We're going at my speed. Not running that horse into the ground. Yeah. That's just a dick move. All right. Sherry. Oh, take that. The letter's in there. The end is the beginning. He was spewing that same malarkey back in the 70s. Are you just saying the person responsible for all of this is... Teddy. Should have killed him when I had the chance. You really should have. Guess it's not too late. Are you sure it's him? A few months ago, I'm out foraging and I spot it. I'm not going to that cabin. But this is our best lead. I got other leads, better leads. The orchard, Teddy's childhood home. Hill might know something, and he is at the cabin. What, you don't have time for a short detour? It's not about that. What is it? That cabin is where I left my boy 40 years ago. Mm. I won't go back there. I met and lost my husband at that cabin. Yeah. The table inside is set up with medical supplies to save his life, but I didn't get the chance. And despite that, I'm willing to go back there because finding Hill and hearing what he knows could save a lot of lives. And I want it back. What's that? John's other pistol. Well, those guns do belong together. Oh, yes, ma'am. He's crazy as a cut snake. <laughs> yeah. Tell ice to an Eskimo. And you can bet that his new followers are armed and highly motivated. He used a candy wrapper. <laughs> candy wrapper. <laughs> it was the best he could do at the time. Oh, I proposed to his mama the same way. So it was a juicy food wrapper. I was still in the academy, not a dime to my name. Did John ever tell you about those guns? Oh, just that they'd been in your family for generations. Six. The first John Dory brought him west on the trail. J.D. the second gunned down dead-eyed Driscoll in Blackwater. Hell of a shot. Got his picture in the paper. John was a good shot, too. Yeah. yeah. He taught me. Hmm. You're gonna lock her in. Turned over. Mm. Barely. You picked the 
Wrong cabin to rob, old timer. Oh. <laughs> My son's cabin. That makes you a trespasser. John's old man, hey? Eh? And this is his gun. All we know is they want to kill everybody. I'm gonna give you five minutes to get your shit and get the hell out of here. If you hadn't heard. Ah! shouldn't be out of bed. I took a bullet out of you. You lost a lot of blood. We were meant to fix this old girl up together, he and I. Mm. It was gonna be his first car. The boy looks so content eating his butterscotch ice cream. He looks so happy. John had this light about him. Of course, you know. John sewed me back up with fishing line and butterscotch brittle. And light. And love. leaving you behind to save an innocent person's life, knowing it might mean I never see you again. Even so, I believe you'll forgive me one day, same way I forgave. Same way I forgave dad yeah. for leaving me. No matter what happens, sure as the sun sets, I will never I will never stop trying to get back to you. Back to those early days at the cabin. <laughs> and a nurse named June was the light guiding my way. I love you, June Bug. <laughs> that man has been chasing after Teddy for how many years? He missed out on his entire life. I can't let that happen to me. To us. I have been using Negan as an excuse mm. for why we can't be together. These are yours. Thank you for letting me and John borrow them. You don't have to do that. I don't want to. John would too. They belong with their rightful owners. Morgan, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Hey. This is John Dory. It's John's father. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's all right, a little tender. <laughs> I might have been wrong when I said that there wasn't anything you could do or say to make things better. Check on her. Please. Well, we better put our heads together. This man you're up against, I know him about a stern. And if he's doing now what he wanted to do before, he's not going to stop till we're all dead. And let's get to work. That was my reaction to Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 13, JD. So June stumbled across John's father. Um, didn't expect to see him at all. I thought he was long dead, but he's here, and they kind of work together, because apparently he knows where, or who Teddy was and is, so he was able to 
give us some that about information about that where apparently he's been like this for a long time, even before the apocalypse. So um and he has some big plan um involving killing everyone. Also, Sherry told Dwight that she was gonna go back to Virginia to kill Negan, but then decided not to. Um after kind of seeing um John's dad, or I guess I can call him John too. I don't know. That might be confusing, but um seeing him how he wastes like his whole life, like looking for Teddy and trying to find him and stop him. And she didn't want to do that too. So yeah, that's it.